and today we're talking Mother's Day. I'm super excited to share with you the things I have on my mind about Mother's Day. It's how to make the perfect Mother's Day, at least in my opinion, for free, and a couple of other tips and hopefully a craft that I'm doing with my little guys as well. So first of all, happy Mother's Day to my mom. You're the best, I love you. Happy Mother's Day to my mother-in-law. You're also the best, I love you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being wonderful grandparents. And second of all, I just wanna go ahead and give you full-blown permission, not that you need my permission, to skip this video. Mother's Day is a hard day for a lot of women out there, and if that's you, skip it, it's not worth it. But if you are here, it's probably because you love me or you're interested in having a great Mother's Day for someone. So if you are a mom and you like this, go ahead and send this to your partner and say, hey, hey, this is it. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a really simple, really cute last minute craft idea that moms actually want and will keep. So stay tuned for that. Okay, these are mostly tips for like moms with kids, young moms, not necessarily like my mom who like her youngest child is in her like middle 20s. Like, I don't know, I'm sure my mom would like these things, but doesn't really apply. Where a mom with young kids, this is like gold, gold, okay? You don't even have to spend any money Number one thing that moms want is to sleep in. And moms have this superpower where they can hear everything. I can hear when my toddler gets out of his bed. Not when he's like running down the hall, not when he's standing beside me. I can hear when he like moves his blanket and puts one foot on the ground. And not because my house is loud, just because I have a freak like mom superpower. And maybe not everybody has that, but what I'm saying is sometimes my husband is like, oh, I'll let you sleep in. And what he means is, is you can stay in bed. But what I need is for him to remove the children completely from the scenario. Because if I just like barely hear them, I'm up. That's it. So for me on Mother's Day, I want him to like scoop up all the kids in a basket and, and go away. <laughs> And not for the whole day, for Mother's Day, I wanna spend a lot of time with my kids, but if I got one hour, two hours of extra sleep, that would be incredible. And that's not gonna cost you anything except for maybe a slight piece of your sanity. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's not a mom out there that's getting enough sleep. The next thing I wanna say, I'm gonna call it pampering, but that is could be here or it could be here. You could spend a lot of money and go to like salons and get your nails done and do all these things. Or it could be just like, I would like to go pee without my kid in the bathroom. <laughs> There's a large scale there and every mom is on that scale somewhere. So you decide how much of a gift this is gonna be for you. But for me, a beautiful day would be sleeping in and then taking a nice long shower by myself and then doing like a full skin routine, maybe a face mask and then painting my fingernails or something. Those are all things I have here in my house. I don't need to spend money on that but I need the time to do it. I need my children to be like watching a movie with my husband or something, just a moment to myself. That, would, that, that sounds beautiful to me. Again, the key part to this is that someone else needs to be entertaining the troops. So that is a great gift you could give to your, your partner, give to the mom you love on Mother's Day. And then something that I really want this year, husband, if you're out there, I said that like I'm searching for a husband. If you're out there, husband. Uh, <laughs> moms oftentimes don't have good photos with their kids. So if I get to sleep in, I'm looking well rested, and then I get a day to paint my fingernails and I'm feeling nice and pampered, I'm cute, right? So as the day progresses, I would love it if my husband just captured some photos with me and my kids. Probably, personally, I want more candid pictures of us playing, laughing, reading, while I'm looking cute, right? So another just like simple gift you can give, and I don't necessarily mean like print out a Shutterfly book and like do all these things. I just mean like take pictures of your mom and the kids. I just mean simply like take photos of me with my kids. Like I, I want to look back on these times and cherish and remember it but I oftentimes look like a slice of butter. So if I'm feeling all pampered and cute, this is a great opportunity for you to take candid pictures of me and my kid. So again, in my head, perfect day, sleeping in, getting a moment to get ready, peacefully by myself. And then as I continue my day, capturing beautiful photos of me with my children, all of those things are free and all of those things would make me happy. And I think it would help a lot of moms out there be happy as well. Of course, food, um, feed the mother that you love. 
Um, but that comes w at a price, okay? And I don't mean literal price, because yes, go to her favorite restaurant, pay for it, whatever. That just depends on where you're at in life. But here's the other thing. If you're gonna make them a cute cake, breakfast in bed, whatever you're gonna do, don't leave the dishes. Maybe you don't know this if you're not a mom and you don't have the mom algorithm, but every day after Mother's Day, the internet is just full of like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad my husband and kids made this cake for me. And then it's just a big picture of the dirty sink. Don't be that meme. If you're gonna do something beautiful for your family, make sure you follow it all the way through and make sure you leave your kitchen, you clean up, whatever you're gonna do. And if you can't do that, go out and eat. Buy her a cake. That just sounds great, right? In general, leave the house cleaner at the end of Mother's Day than you did at the beginning. Usually that's mom's duty. And if you can take that on, all free things to have a beautiful, wonderful Mother's Day for the mother that you love. And this is not my tip, I heard this from somebody else, but I resonated with it. And so maybe at some point in your day, maybe like at the end of the day, whatever, let the mom you love go shopping alone. Whether or not she has money to spend, that's beside the point. Maybe get her a gift card to a store she likes, I don't know. But usually when I go to Target, when I go to the store, I'm like bouncing a baby, I'm wearing a baby, I'm, I'm dragging a toddler, I'm doing something. And so I can't stop and smell all those candles or I can do like one thing. I can look at like one section and then I have to like scurry on to the rest of my things. But just like perusing through the store and like flipping through things and looking, like shopping mindlessly, that is a rare event in my life. So if you have an extra like hour in your day or whatever, send your wife off to do those things. Maybe send them with one of your older kids or with a girlfriend or just alone. I don't know, it's gonna be different for every woman out there, but not dragging a cranky toddler while you're going through Target, that also sounds like a nice part of Mother's Day. So my ideal Mother's Day, sleeping in, having a long, nice shower pampering time to myself, and then going out to a beautiful meal, and then just playing and spending the rest of the day with my children, loving, because they're gonna be perfectly well-behaved on this day, right? They know, my three-year-old knows that they have to be perfectly well-behaved, right? Hopefully, maybe. Anyways, taking pictures throughout the day, so I have them to remember them and love them. And then maybe, maybe ending the day, going shopping for an hour or two by myself. That would be, that would be a grand old day. I would really enjoy that. And drop a comment down below if you think that that would be a good day slash you think that you could give the mother you love a day like that. Now on the flip side, we have like my mom. My mom is not exhausted from her children waking up super early because most of her children live in a different state. But she does love her children and her grandchildren. So I, now is the point right now, mom, if you're watching this to stop because I haven't given you this gift yet. So just turn the video off turn it off and you can watch the rest next week. <laughs> Here is what I made for my mom and mother-in-law, for the grandmas in my life, because they are important mothers to me and they love and cherish their little ones too. So I did a quick pickup from Walmart. I got these flower sack towels. They're super lightweight, nothing special. And then I went ahead and bought fabric paint, but you can also buy fabric medium. Um, I just needed a couple colors, so it wasn't a big deal to me. Then I looked up different hand print craft ideas and just saw some pictures I liked. I'm focusing more on the fruit. There was a lot of cute cactus ones. There were some cute dinosaurs. The key here is to get something that matches the mother you like, their style or something in their kitchen, something you know that they're gonna like. Like for me, I love cactuses. Plants are a big part of my life. I think fruit is so cute. These are things that I really like. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe like the dinosaur is super cute but like, I'm probably not gonna hang a dinosaur towel in my kitchen, but grandmas feel a little bit different about life, so maybe maybe that's different. All you have to do is just put the handprint on, and then afterwards go back in with a puff paint, a Sharpie, a fabric marker, and add the fine details, and you have a really cute Mother's Day to craft. They're actually probably gonna hang on to a while. And this is super cheap, super easy, and I think it's adorable. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there and uh, make sure you like this video if you found it entertaining or useful or helpful. I hope you liked it. I have some big stuff coming up, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be up to date with all my latest news. I'm always grateful when you watch my videos, so I'll see you next time, bye.